small, consistent actions or changes over time can lead to significant and exponential results. What's going on, everybody? Wishing everyone peace and blessings in these times. This is JD, and you're listening to Sundays. Grab your wine, and let's catch a vibe. Thursday, October 5th, I move October 7th. I am just now starting to really pack stuff in my house. I go to LA on Sunday. I definitely knew I needed to vlog and like vlog this experience. I am actually on the way to the nail shop. I have so much to catch you guys up on just in terms of the moving aspect. I feel like I already mentally put myself behind. I had to wash my hair this morning. When I got out the shower, I had 10 minutes to get to my wax appointment. I have this new sugar scrub that they say is limited time. I actually have it right here. Even if you guys don't wax, I would really recommend to go to your local wax center and purchase it. It's a very good hydrating scrub. Yeah, I think that's all my updates. I just wanted to introduce the vlog. We are rushing, but when am I not rushing? I have on this top I got from Garage, biker shorts, and this sweater because the weather has been unpredictable. As far as the agenda, you guys, I need to go to Home Depot. I have a Sephora return. Tomorrow, I have a lash appointment, hair appointment. I told you guys I washed my hair this morning. One thing at a time, we're just gonna have a great day. Productive, great day. I will see you guys after, after that appointment. Target right now. I'm on a ten. Mm, that smells like fresh. fresh. So, is this solely no, this hair girl, care? I need this. It smells amazing. Mm. Can we get the bell? Yeah. I don't know what Sonal's doing. Cute. Okay, what is that? This? I can't smell it. It smells good. It's light. It's definitely light. And this one smells good as well. Anything body care is up my alley. We just came out of the nail shop. We actually just came out of Target. Like I told you guys, or if I didn't, I have to find something to wear out of town. Um, in my last vlog, I showed you guys my pants that I was planning to wear. They're like cargos. I need to find a top that goes with my cargo pants. I feel real good, y'all. I think Applebee's has $1 margaritas for the month of October. So we're headed there. And I still had a pack. <laughs> I gotta go to Home Depot. Like I still have so much to do and it's already too early. First of all, can we just talk about my hair really quick? 
Um, I am going to get my hair done today. I'm actually on the way to my lash appointment. I got caught up yesterday doing a whole lot of stuff that I didn't plan to do. That's how that day ended. Working on not being so impulsive. I'm a very impulsive person, especially when it comes to finances. Like, I'm still trying to figure out that whole situation. Definitely want to sit down with you guys. We can have a little chat, a little girl talk, and like get into it. After my lash appointment, I have to get my hair done. It's given Matilda. Or not Matilda, but what's that girl off of Polar Express? I love my nails. This by far might be one of my favorite sets. Color choice was perfect for the season. Everything like just really worked out. I low-key got a little late in the nail shop, y'all. That's the start of our day, turning left. And not even left, I had a great day yesterday. I just wasn't as productive as I planned. So that is rolling into today. Want me to get ratchet, niggas want me to attack it. Put the hood on, all they calling me cashes. Watch you like Bob Saget. Greedy, I can't pass it. Eating everything, nigga, no fasting. I don't care how much you knew me in the past tense. I ain't no Julia style, this ain't no last dance. Way past it. Way. Fucking on my ex, cause he validate me. Fucking up a check, I don't wanna receipt. Mine get possessed, let my spirit speak freely. Hey. My best can't escape me. My pussy precedes me. Why my all the time change? I just finished my lashes. My appointment went so well. I love Sierra. Like, one thing about it, her energy, I just love how she makes it designated. It's 136 right now. My hair appointment's at 3. I'm gonna try to go in a flood really quick to get something to eat. My best can't escape me. My pussy precedes me. Why my all the time change? I'm still playing the victim and you still playing to pick me. It's so embarrassing. All of the things I need. I found moving boxes for $1.48. So I'm gonna get like six. $10. Hey y'all. Um, I just got home. I just had my hair up. It's really late and I have so much stuff to pack so I just wanted to tell you guys I was back home. I did cut a lot of my curly pieces to kind of frame my face a little bit better because it was just a little too much. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Let me just show you. not too long ago by the way it's nine o'clock i'm moving back in with my mom i've been living by myself for six years and over my experience just don't rush anything next year we're debating i'm moving out of state really just in my travel era networking i love to network i, I feel like i'm always in the right place at the right time and i just thank god for that that's a blessing that's where i'm where i'm at we are actually revamping our area we're gonna make it like a i don't know like a girl's den so i'm like super excited for that it'll just be me and my sister that is like what our near future entails renovations 
let me go ahead and show you guys what we have going on i hope i gave that breakdown i hope it made sense i definitely do have a balance with keeping things personal and not like telling you guys all my business but these things it could be helpful for someone um if you currently live with your parents coming from someone who has lived by themselves by themselves i would really suggest hold it down save your money and then when you are ready i feel like you know when you're ready like when the time is right you know when you are in a good position to go out on your own but if you can really save your money this era has come to a pause a pause the new season is starting to get really cold you guys enough talking enough rambling let's get back to moving i have stuff everywhere this is the kitchen right now it's crazy i used to think about how you did that when a nigga got money now you just switched up on me now you gonna say what's up to me okay so now you want to make love to me girl if you don't get the fuck from me I know you thought we had something special, but you don't mean nothing to me. Girl, I'm sorry you not the one for me. Just be honest, girl, what you want from me? This ain't nothing to keep you so quiet, honey. I can't let none of these niggas get one up on me. I go, I got to tell you where to run from me. Give hold of my niggas, them niggas love money. I'm not even gonna lie, you guys. I'm getting really tired. It's 1.20. Excuse me. I was just thinking, like, we have a flight early tomorrow morning our flight leaves at like 5 50. that means we're gonna have to be at the airport like 4 4 3 30 ish and i'm just trying to figure out when in the process did we think that was smart why do we think that was smart i don't know why do we think we could pull all this off like i know how much it takes like how much energy it takes to move and i'm already so tired plus i just ate so i kind of have the itis i'm gonna keep going i don't got no choice girl you don't got no choice you gotta keep going but i just wanted to um let you guys know we're picking up our u-haul really quick and hopefully we can get this stuff on this truck so i can settle down and start packing for tomorrow i'm already over the whole moving aspect yeah my um tripod fell or not my tripod my lens fell yesterday i really need to clean my car too what did i just say I was supposed to go to a haunted house with my friends yesterday, but that didn't work out. Uh, Asha actually just texted me. I was supposed to go to a haunted house yesterday. I didn't get to make it to, I didn't get to make it because obviously I am moving right now, but hopefully we make it to the haunted house sometime this month. I say this literally every year that I want to go to a haunted house. I've never been, I have no choice. Like just for the experience i just really want to get into all the spooky festives i've been seeing on tiktok like these girls nights little ghost pizza cute little drinks cookies scary movies it sounds like a vibe so i'm gonna create like a little itinerary and send it to my friends so we can make that happen because i want to get some like nice seasonal content but first we got to get this trip out the way um i believe i told you guys i go to la tomorrow sometimes i don't be complete my sentences y'all like my my mouth talks quicker than i can even process what i'm trying to say so it just ends up sounding like jibber jabber and i really just think i need to practice like just speaking out loud with everything being so what do you call it it's the word i'm looking for with everything being so remote we don't have or at least for myself i don't have as much social interactions on a daily basis so I feel like I don't talk as much as I need to. I really want to go back to school, you guys. I really just want to go for my own personal growth. Like, take an English class so I can improve my vocabulary. I've told you guys this in the past. I'm all about progression. Like, I just really want to just do the best I can. I've had this scarf on all day. It's been coming through, though. Because when I have braids, I'm like, scarf it up, girl. I couldn't have asked for a better set, especially, like, right now. I just feel like it's, it's a good transition. Good transition before I get into, like, my Halloween nails. So, I am very pleased. Them niggas love money. I didn't go to them bitches, can't get a hug from me. I'm high on life, that's what it does for me. My numbers going up, I feel a buzz coming. Young nigga, young nigga. Friends, bad food, and come on with you. And we like, bitch, with their own shit, we don't like gold niggas. Girl, don't get the fuck from me. I know you thought we had something special, but you don't mean nothing to me. 
Girl, I'm sorry you don't want some pussy. This is shit I don't condone it. Cheating on your bitch, but you can get it if you want it. Looking for a bad bitch, I finally found a culprit. Nigga taking shots, and I'm back to the post. Hey, that nigga, why won't you shut up? It's the motherfucker 502, come on. And every time I'm back in the city, every bitch with it in the dinner, run up.